Hi, and welcome to a short tutorial on another Outlook add-in from Sperry Software. And in this video tutorial, we're going to talk about the Save as PDF add-in. This add-in allows you to save your emails and their attachments in the PDF file format to a location that you specify. It can operate as the emails arrive or in a batch mode to convert entire folders all at once. And it works with Exchange public folders and any other shared folders, but doesn't require Exchange. So let's get started. I've downloaded and I've installed the Save as PDF add-in, and I've already started Outlook. I've also already clicked on the Sperry Software menu item at the top right, and now we're going to click on the ribbon where it says Sperry Software so we can configure the add-in. The first tab, Email Settings, allows you to control which emails and or attachments are saved as PDF files, using the automatic function, or you can choose specific folders and so on. Down below with the filtering rules, much like other add-ins that you've seen, you can choose to save all the emails, or only save those that match certain filters based on the subject, the body of the email, or who it's from, for example. And don't forget you can use wildcards in these entries, and you can put multiple entries if you separate them with a semicolon. The next tab are the PDF file settings. First of all, you set the folder where the PDF files are going to be saved. It defaults to Save PDFs under your Documents folder. You can change that by clicking on the button here. What to save as PDF is the next option. You can save the emails and attachments into one single PDF file, or you can save the email into its own PDF and the attachment into their own PDFs as well. The Save Options allow you to control how the files are renamed, if at all. If you click on the Rename Options button, you'll see some of the template options that are available to you. The next option, Mimic the Outlook folder structure in Windows folders, means that no matter what folder you chose above for where you're going to save the files, the add-in will mimic the Outlook folder structure from that point on your hard drive, so you'll have an inbox, you'll have an outbox, and so on. A couple of final options allow you to be prompted to save files when you save them manually, print the PDF after it's been processed, and then after processing you have some options as well. You can mark the email as read, keep it as unread, or delete it completely. Next are settings and utilities, and many of the options here are self-explanatory, or you can simply leave them to their default. The one we want to talk about the most, though, is the line that says, Always include attachments as raw attachments. Do not transcribe. What normally happens is the add-in transcribes the attachments into the email. However, there is an option to leave it as a raw attachment. When you choose to do this, then a paper clip is at the bottom of the PDF that, when clicked, will allow you to see the attachments, just like you would in a regular email. And, of course, that all happens inside your PDF. Finally, in keeping with the theory that every rule was made to be broken after you've set all your configuration options, there may still be some instances where there are exceptions to your rules, and this is the area where you would enter those exceptions. Again, the fields here are pretty much self-explanatory. Let's go back to an email now and show you the results of how the add-in works. I've received an email here that has a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet attached to it. Now, the way I have the add-in set up, I'm going to save it as a single PDF, meaning the email and the attachment will both end up in the same PDF file, and I do have it transcribed, so we'll actually see the contents of the Excel in my PDF file, rather than just having a paperclip link to it. We see the email here at the top, and as I scroll down, we see the contents of the Microsoft Excel file in PDF format, even including the charts at the bottom. So that's the PDF save add-in from Sperry Software. Thanks for watching and be looking for more of our video tutorials.